Hello, my wonderful denizens. Well, here we are together again for another former Network Executive Reaction TV Guide episode. Thanks for your comments on my first TV Guide retrospective. I had no idea what the interest would be. I didn't know what to expect from a numbers point of view. Not my highest, but so many of you really loved it or or lied that you loved it or or were curious about seeing more. So I'm giving you more. Several of you offered suggestions, such as adding music and some commentary. I'm not a huge fan of putting bed tracks in, but I mean, I'll add something and I'm sure I'll get your thoughts on whether it succeeded or not. So I went through my TV guide stack and I have 17 more of these uh, and they finish off around the year 2000. Well, not around, the year 2000. And and this one is from 1978 and it's packed with some really well-known shows. I've also decided to concentrate on just sitcoms as that's my personal interest, but I'll drag in the odd outlier just for fun. Without further ado, which means without more fuss, I present to you my TV Guide retrospective from 1978. First up, a Norman Lear show. How could it fail? Apple Pie, ABC. Set in Depression-era Kansas City, hairdresser Ginger Neil Hollyhock doesn't have a family, so she puts out classified ads to create one. Filling the new positions are con artist husband, Eddie, tap dancing daughter, Anna Marie, a son known only as Junior, and an elderly blind grandfather, starring Rue McClanahan, Dabney Coleman, and Jack Guilford. Lasted eight episodes. I remember this little show. Guilford played the grandfather, lots of blind jokes, another swing and a miss for Coleman. He might have the record for the most failed sitcoms. I think the premise was just too big a stretch. Not a sitcom, but I have to mention it. Battlestar Galactica, ABC. The leaders of the 12th colonies of mankind are making plans to sign a peace treaty with their mortal enemies, the Cylon Empire. The Cylon instead betray the pact and destroy most of the colonies and their entire fleet. Under the command of Commander Adama, the Battlestar Galactica leads the remaining colonial ships into space and seeks out a lost 13th colony, which turns out to be Earth! Starring Lauren Green, Richard Hatch, Marin Jensen, and Starbuck, played by Dirk Benedict. Thankfully, lasted only one season. No, this wasn't the good Battlestar. It was the horrible one. Star Wars was hot at the time. I saw the hour and a half movie in the theater and I thought, shit, I've been suckered into paying to watch a TV pilot, which is exactly what it was. In the beginning, CBS, Father Daniel Cleary is a very conservative priest who is paired up with a down-to-earth, liberal-leaning nun, Sister Agnes, to open a mission in Baltimore. Their disparate backgrounds and philosophies lead to a number of misunderstandings and arguments. Sister Lillian and Monsignor Barlow are their superiors and are often forced to settle their disagreements. Starring McLean Stevenson and Priscilla Lopez, the show was excommunicated after only nine episodes. This was one of many attempts to get the likable McLean Stevenson back into a sitcom vehicle after he left the huge hit M.A.S.H. He left M.A.S.H. because he thought he was comedy's second coming. The lesson is, if you're on a hit show, don't listen to your ego. Also, not a sitcom, but come on. Do you think I'm not going to mention Mary? CBS. After the Mary Tyler Moore show ended, Moore waited a year and came back to this comedy variety show. There are comedy sketches and musical numbers starring her repertory company, featuring Dick Sean, Jim Hampton, Swoozy Kurtz, David Letterman, Michael Keaton, and Judy Kahn. Lasted three episodes. I remember the shows. Uh, they were fine. I remember thinking, well, you know, that the era of a Carol Burnett style variety show was over. One has to wonder 
Was this Mary Tyler Moore eager to get back on TV or the network wanting to exploit her huge popularity? In any case, it didn't work. Mork and Mindy, ABC. Mork from Ork is an alien sent to Earth in an egg to investigate Earth and report back to his superiors. As an outsider, Mork is unfamiliar with human customs and often questions some of the strange traditions that we take for granted. Starring someone named Robin Williams and Pam Dauber. Lasted for four seasons. Producer Gary Marshall picked Williams because he was the only alien to audition. This show was hilarious in the first year and then got progressively less funny as the fish out of water premise became less sustainable and it just got crazier. Still, I don't know what they would have done without Robin Williams, who I was lucky enough to meet at Second City in Toronto one night. He asked me where the Hard Rock Cafe was. I told him I'd walk him there. Took us about 20 minutes. Unbelievably wonderful person. Taxi, ABC. Louis De Palma is a cantankerous, acerbic taxi dispatcher in New York City. He tries to maintain order over a collection of varied and strange characters who drive for him as he bullies and insults them from the safety of his cage. Starring Dang. Who didn't it star? Judd Hirsch, Danny DeVito, Mary Lou Henner, Christopher Lloyd, Andy Kaufman, Jeff Conaway, Tony Danza. Lasted five seasons, four on ABC and one on NBC. Taxi was a brilliant show with middling ratings, averaging 7.4. So it was cancelled. To put that in perspective, a hit show today like NCIS has a rating of 4.6. <laughs> Taxi won the Emmy for Best Comedy Series every single year. I did talk with Stan Daniels, one of the creators. Swell guy. Waverly Wonders, NBC. Joe Casey is a washed-up pro basketball player turned history teacher and basketball coach at Waverly High School in Eastfield, Wisconsin. His team has not won a game in three years. The team consists of Tony Faguzzi, a lover, Hasty Parks, a con artist, and Connie Rafkin, the best player on the team, starring Joe Namath. Lasted 10 merciful episodes. Apparently, Larry Hagman turned down the lead in order to play J.R. Ewing in Dallas. I think he made the right choice. Who's watching the kids? NBC. Angie and Stacy are two showgirls in Las Vegas, Nevada. Their two younger siblings, Frankie and Melissa, live with them and are frequently watched by Larry, a neighbor, which doesn't sound creepy at all. At the club, where the sisters work, Mitzi Logan is the MC and Memphis O'Hara is a singer, starring Karen Kay, Scott Bio, Marcy Lewis, Tammy Lauren, Linda Goodfriend, and Jim Belushi. Lasted only 11 episodes. No comment. And finally, WKRP in Cincinnati, CBS. A hip young program director pumps new life into a failing AM radio station, WKRP of Cincinnati, by changing format from big band to hard rock and bringing in two hot disc jockeys over the protest of the owner and some of the employees. Starring Gary Sandy, Gordon Jump, Lori Anderson, Howard Hessman, Richard Sanders, Frank Bonner, Tim Reed, and Jan Smithers. Lasted four seasons of turkey chucking fun. One of my favorite all time shows. It covered many more controversial topics than I think most people recall. Anyway, thanks for sticking around till the end. And what a banner year for sitcoms. Hope you like this new and improved version of my TV Guide review. Based on your suggestions, I, I'm sure I'll, I'll find out more in your comments. Hope you liked it. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you.